Hey everyone, Beck here and welcome back to Rags to Riches. Um, today, apparently it's midnight and we don't want to go to sleep. I've just jumped back in the game, tried to get um, Kelly to go back to sleep, but she just doesn't want to hop into bed. So that's just really not very convenient at all. I'm wondering if it's because she's energized, but she keeps on getting out of bed. Oh, I'm wondering if it's the music. Should we turn the music off? Is that why? Is that why? It sure is. Okay, so we've got to make sure the music's off before we go to bed. So that's a good thing to remember. We've got a um, spoiled glass of water in there. So we've got our little patch. We've got our awesome little greenhouse, our little outhouse, and all our veggies. We've got some bugs going on, so we're going to have to spray for bugs. But first, when we get up, I think we will have a quick meal, have some cereal, and then we are going to spray for bugs, weed the garden and see how we go. So where, where, did we, where did we leave off last time? So we're trying to reach level 10 so that we can become a plant sim. I think we need to get level 10 gardening skill before we can do that. And then we are waiting for our um, snapdragon to grow so that we can take a cutting and then graft it onto some strawberries. That's where we're at. So they're in season, which is really good. They don't need anything. Uh, it looks like we've got lots of strawberries to... Um, harvest and in here we're getting some grapes going as well so that's really good I wonder if we're going to be doing any more watering with our tears that was bloody hilarious in the last episode I must say <laughs> so let's just speed up time a little bit so we can get this done our bees are still enraged our honey is partially full I really don't know how to make them not enraged so I'm just going to ignore them to be honest <laughs> We're spraying for the bugs. We're getting attacked by the bees. Amazing. Yeah, we got stung by the bees, which is awesome. I have to say, I haven't been stung by a bee since I was like a teenager. I remember um, I used to play netball, um, netball competition. So I'd travel away because I was in like a regional team as such. And I'd go away. And I remember getting a bee sting right before starting a game of netball. And it was like underneath my nail. And I had to get one of the mums that had come up with us. She had like ridiculously long nails and I had to get her to like pick it out in front of my nail. There's a really weird story and something that I hadn't thought about in a very long time. Um, let's just clean up all of these bowls. We're going to harvest all and see how much money we get. So we're getting our shrooms, we're getting our strawberries. And we're going to go in and we're going to get our grapes as well. They probably didn't get to the point where they were completely ready to be harvested. Like obviously we can harvest them as soon as we can see stuff on there. But it, maybe we should leave them for a little while until they're like at their full potential. I think you get 10 on each. But let's have a look. So yeah, we've got 60. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, they're definitely not getting 10. But, you know, that's all right. Um... Oh, apparently we're going to do some push-ups. Can we try and bond with our bees and collect the honey? All right, strawberries, $13 each, $732. Our grapes are only at $8. So our strawberries are getting us more. But once we've evolved them to the point where they're like top tier, pretty sure grapes make more. But we're just going to keep what we've got because that's working well. The mushrooms are really kind of not worth it. Do you know what? I shouldn't have sold them. I should have kept them and planted more. Wow, why do I do that every time? So we've got two and a half thousand dollars. I'm not sure if I really want to do too much. We don't really need to um, put up any more of a greenhouse just because these ones are all in season, so there's no real need to do that. I mean, we could make a bedroom and get a better bed, but, you know, it's not really affecting us that much. We've collected some honey. It's poor quality. I don't know how to make it better quality. I have no idea. Change into beekeeper suit. Bond with bees. Let's collect a swarm and then send them out to uh, go and get something for us. Can you send to fetch a gift? Pollinate nearby plants. Cheer yourself up, self. Cheer up yourself with your bees and then send them to fetch a gift. Oh. I love our little bees. Apparently they've left. Oh, so once we've collected them once, we can't um, 
send them out. So we can't collect them again. We have to give them time to recover. Fair enough. Fair enough. Awesome. We're going to have something else to eat. Do, 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 do. This is like taking a little while to get into it, I know. Um, but if I didn't sell all our stuff, it would have been fine. Because if I had sold them, because if I hadn't sold them, we could have been planting some more. But that's okay. Stuff happens. We're just listening to some music, waiting for anything to happen that we need to do. Um, not much is really going on. We don't need to water or do anything. So maybe we should go around and have a look for some other stuff that we can harvest and sell. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. There's people over here grilling. Maybe we should come. Once we get to this spot, we're going to come over here and then grab some food because I, I know that we've just eaten, but we could make some friends. Have a hot dog with this guy here. Who is it? Oh, he's going. Bye. Thanks for leaving your food. All right, well, we'll just eat the food that they've left behind. We'll come and we'll dig up that and these couple here i swear there's more i don't think so every time i miss that bush some shrooms again over here we've left them long enough that they're getting full of all their different um fruits and flowers so that's good we're still eating our food what a beautiful day isn't it don't you think so we're just finishing up with this community garden and then we're going to go back. We'll sell everything that we've collected and we might plant some of it as well. So apparently we are talking to the plant. So that is good. That helps us out. Did we have anything on our trash plant over here to get? I don't think so. Oh, harvest trash fruit. I don't see any. Or oh, actually, it's hiding in there. I want to see what it does. <laughs> Oh, these camera angles. Sorry, guys. All right. We've got some strawberries. So seeing as they're doing so well, let's maybe plant a few more. We'll get a row going. We might get another row here so there's enough walking space. We might even get rid of the mushrooms because they really don't get us any money. So let's go into build mode. And just delete these off. I don't think it's getting us any money because there was nothing on them. But that's fine. I just don't think it's worth having them. So let's just... Do we just plant them all? Should we? I reckon. Um, maybe that much. Awesome. And then she can plant them all. And that'll take her all afternoon. We're going to sell everything else that we've got here. I swear the prices of the flowers have gone up since Seasons was introduced. I could be completely wrong. We'll get rid of our treasure map. All right, so this is what our trash looks like. It's worth one dollar. Foul smelling and explicitly composed entirely of refuse. Let's get rid of it. Refuse, refuse. All right, so we're gardening away. We're getting more strawberries on the go. Amazing. Starting to get dark. We're still putting our strawberries into the ground. Um, <laughs> so here I had this idea of using grapes, but we're, we've switched. We're doing strawberries now. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to end up with at the end of the day? Hopefully dragon fruit because they will get us a lot of money, which I've said a million times. But we're really focusing right now on just trying to get our, um, our gardening skill up. So we're level five. So we're halfway to level 10, if I do my math correctly. 9.46. We really do need to water them before we go to bed just so that they're nice and watered and ready to go. Um, you've left one over there. Oh, and we were attacked by a beast, obviously. And then we're going to have a shower and go to bed. And I must remember we need to turn our music off. Our fun level stays right nice and high because we're listening to the music. So that's like... The best thing that we could have done. <laughs> oh. What on earth just happened? Please tell me that that's a glitch. Where did our plants go? 
Is that a glitch, guys? Because that's really weird. They're all gone. Um, well, Kelly's asleep, so I'll come back when she wakes up. It won't be that long. We're awake, so Kelly is feeling really uncomfortable because of her bed. So I think now that we've got a little bit more money, we might upgrade to a decent bed. Um, whether or not that'll be indoors or outdoors, I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll do that in just a minute. I'm just going to get Kelly's needs up while we're still on the lot, and then we're going to travel and then come back because hopefully our plants will come back. It's summer. It's warm. So, yeah, we've got a sore back from our bed. We're lonely, um, which is not ideal. New skill day. Try out a new skill or develop an existing one. Uh, we're talking to our plants, so they must still be there. It must just be a glitch. Let's just travel somewhere else. Not with anyone because we don't really like any of those people. Do we? I don't think so. I'm just a bit of a loner. I don't like people <laughs> in The Sims. <laughs> Uh, relationships are hard in The Sims. All right, we're back. So we've changed into our summer clothes um, so that we don't burn alive in the sun. Um, I don't really know why I'm here. I guess it's so that we can see if anything happens. Well, I guess while we're here, we could go around. It doesn't look like anything has spawned because we've only just rocked up. All right, so we're just going to play some chess. Get Oh, bye. Someone else is coming over. No. Well, that's that was disappointing. I was kind of hoping that we were going to have a friend. But that's all right. We're feeling happy. We're going to go and talk to somebody else. Which is good. We'll get our social up and then we'll go back to the lot and see if our plants are actually still there or not. The flea market is in town. Um, should we go? Let's go. Let's go to the flea market. Who are we talking to? I have no idea. Let's just go without them. It's not something I've done on a Let's Play yet on my channel. I have been there in my own spare time. This came with this with the City Living Pack. So there's little markets. There's the flea market, the romantic festival, and there's like a geek con or something like that. I think there's just the three. Um, so yeah, guys, we've we've gone to the city for the day. This is the city. So you can live in these apartment buildings, um, have an apartment. So this is the flea market. What have we got for sale? I wonder if there's going to be a bed because we could really use a bed. It doesn't look like it. We've got lots of chairs, weird knickknacks and things. We've got food vendors that we can go and have, try some new food, some lights. So the other thing is you can actually bring your own stuff here to sell. Someone's selling all these snow globe things. Got a chair. I mean, we could buy something. I feel like because we've come all this way, we really probably should buy something. There's not really anything that I see that's going to be that convenient, to be honest. Where are we? All the way over here. Why are you over there? Come and, come and do something. Do you want to go on the bubble blower? <laughs> oh, these things are hilarious to look at. Sit and try. Should we try it? I wonder if anyone's going to come and join us and have a go. But blow some bubbles. Uh, we could buy a light. I mean, they're not really that exciting. Here we go. All in our lonesome. Let's have some bubbles. What do we think? Blowing some bubbles. She doesn't look too impressed, to be honest. Does she? Okay, well, she's done with that. Okay, so I think you can put some paintings and stuff on there. So you could come down, you could sell your paintings or anything like that. Is there a chair that we even like? I really don't like any of them, to be completely honest with you. I feel like this martini glass is just hilarious. I don't want to spend that much money, though. Do you really? F I feel like we should buy something. We are here. What are we going to buy? Should we buy a foldable metal chair because it's cheap? Let's just do it. Let's just go buy one. That way we've bought something, we've been to the flea market and it's been successful. Actually, we're going to buy that. Then we're going to have something to eat because we're getting hungry. Order some food. Let's just order that one and then we can say that we've had something to eat. We're having a bit of a splurge today, spending a little bit of our money. Awesome. Let's have something to eat. Wait, where did she go? Oh, she's still standing here talking. 
She's just got like this really mean face on today. Just take a few photos. And once she finished eating, I love the decorations like on all of this and how it matches all the rugs. I think it's so pretty. So in the city, it's by the sea beach side. I can't remember what district this is. There is a few different districts. This is like a nightclub over here. Karaoke club, I think, actually. It's got karaoke machines in there. And nothing in the rest of it. Wow. Um, that would be a cool place to renovate, actually. I really should renovate. All right, let's go home. So where are we? We're here. So that is the Spice Market. A family neighborhood famous for its Spice Festival, Flea Market, and Dockland views. Well, there you go. All right, so we're going to go back to Brindleton Bay. That's not where we live, is it? We live in um, Willow Creek. <laughs> And we're going to go back to our patch of grass. All right, we're back home and our plants are still not there. But it says they're there, but they're not there. Oh, they're out of... Oh, my God, Beck, you are an idiot. They're out of season, guys. That's why they're not working. Oh, my God, you're an idiot. <laughs> so what we could do is move these out because I'm presuming that they are in season now. No, no, they're not. Okay, lead okay. And I just like ruined it. Um, when are these in season? Seasons fall. So, okay. So let's maybe just put these in our inventory, seeing if they just drop grapes on the ground. We've got um, things going on. So we've got bananas coming. So that's cool. Um, guys, I just planted all of this stuff and now it's not covered. We need to make a shelter. So maybe we could come in. I know it's going to look stupid and I do it in most of my Let's Plays. But maybe we could do this and it will look weird. But if we put some poles or something and maybe lower the roof down. It looks stupid. It, it looks really stupid. I know. Just go with it. Just, just, just give me a moment. Just, just, just let me be. If we go like this. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. That looks ridiculous. All right. And then we'll just go down so I don't have to look at it. And we could like just line the place with strawberries. I think you can have them pretty close to each other. And then these ones were our dragon fruit. We're, we should put these over here. Are not our dragon fruit. They're our um, what are they? Strap snap dragon. Put the snap dragons over there. So they're going to be the ones that we're going to graft and whatever else. These are just in my way, so they can come over here because it's this easy to um, put things in different spots. And then now we shall just move all of this. I know it's tedious. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just placed all of our strawberries and then here are our snapdragons and the grapes are inside our little greenhouse still. Um, the bees I'm going to move over as well because we still want them to be over here fertilizing our plants. Um, how good is that? Our strawberries get precedence over us. Like We don't even have coverage over our bed and our strawberries do. Actually, while we're in build mode, let's just get rid of that bed and buy another one. It's still going to be out in the weather, but that's fine. We will deal with it. That's not what I'm looking for. Bed. So I don't want to spend anything too much. $3,000. See, that's just getting a little bit up there. Um, something like this. $1,300. $14. 5 3 and 3 5 3 and 3 5 2 and 2 so we might get this one. We could like back it onto here. Nice. We can move our stuff over. Music over there. And we'll put that bowl there and we'll just get rid of it in a second. All right. So hopefully, because these are sheltered, is it going to do something? They're sheltered, but... I don't think anything's going to happen. So that really, really sucks, guys, because if they're going to be sheltered and not grow, then we're not going to make money until spring. And it's like summer 
and we've just come out of spring. So we've got like three seasons to go through. I did not think this through. I don't know anything about this pack anymore. I feel like I used to know stuff and now I don't know anything. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we're having a nap. That's fair enough because she is a little bit exhausted. Um, actually, let's go back into here because we bought a chair at the flea market and here it is. So maybe we could put it over here. We can we'll put it under the shelter at least. We can sit and watch our strawberries not grow. Well, they're, yeah, they're sheltered. So I have no idea. I mean, we could bridge the gap between these two and have a bit of shelter over our own bed, but, you know, priorities, who cares? Um, <laughs> let's just wash that dish in there. So I really don't want to... Um, so now we're just going to have to really hold on to our money because I'm not really sure how we're going to get around all this. We might need to figure out what grows in summer. Which I could do this. Purchase seasonal seeds. That works. And then buy one of them because they grow in summer. So we'll see what's in the summer collection. Open seasonal summer. Um, we've got some cherries. So let's just plant some cherries. This has moved right into just growing everything hasn't it plant the cherries we're going to sell the plantains and the two grapes that we had there for nothing apparently so that's convenient we're getting tired it's four o'clock in the afternoon it's five o'clock in the afternoon let's water these um, apparently they're just going to be in random spots that's fine yay we reached level six gardening school awesome Oh, look, they're flower. Oh, they're growing again. So that's good. They're popping up. Hopefully that means they're going to get all the way up. What's going on here? We're getting stung by bees? No, no, we're not. Do we need to, like, water the rest? No, apparently not. That's okay. Um, how much honey have we got going on? It's full or partially full, so it's not so it's not ready yet. So we're just going to go to the toilet, and then I think we're honestly going to go to sleep. I know it's only 6.30, but, you know, we've had a hard day of doing all of this gardening. Well, what an interesting, um, an interesting day that we've had. Let's just take a photo. We've got to make some progress shots. This is our our lot. This is our home. This is our progress. We're getting there. All right, so Kelly's going to bed. Um, no, she's not because the music's going, so we're going to turn the music off and then go to bed. Did I turn it off? Yep. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, any of those cool things, leave them in the comments down below, and I will speak to you in the next episode. Bye, guys.